Mm. He lunged forward a little bit, but it looked like maybe a liver hit. Well, just sitting here, taking it easy, giving it a while, letting Matt hunt some. Sun kind of got up just a little bit, and how I don't know, but I can see my arrow. And I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but it really looks like the riding on the arrow is covered in red. My fletchings are orange, my knocks orange. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's blood because we're, you know, it's 50 yards away. It is 9.15. I shot about 7.30. So that'll be two hours and, um, Probably pack all this stuff out and at least get it up to the tree and that'll keep me busy and keep me from trying to want to go look because I'm hoping he's laying right up there. We'll see. All right, we are on the blood trail. Right there. Oh, right here's where we stopped. Okay, well, we are on our way out from Missouri with Matt Haniel at the helm and Reginald Heartbroken. As you've seen in all the footage, there has been a lethal hit. Uh, after reviewing it on the computer, we're confident that it is liver and probably one lung found Please just a few bubbles three miles. but he crossed the fence and <laughs> we don't have permission to go get him so I hate that the deer will be wasted but he is Right down in that holler. Only one place for him to go, and that's where he went. Yep. So, that's where he's at. 850 miles separated me from a nice deer, and uh, it ended up just being about 150 yards. <laughs> is what's going to keep me from bringing him home. You'd like to say anything about our sponsors, man? We want to thank our. Benzomatic sponsors this year they provided us a case of propane <laughs> to keep me warm throughout the cold windy days in my new sort of 360 degree Primos bull bull blind yeah, that you can't see in but you can see out unless the sun's shining and you can see everything. 
And so can they. And so can they. We also want to thank Bubba the decoy mm -hmm. for taking his stand throughout the whole. Well, journey. he didn't take much of a stand last night. No, he yeah. didn't. He got he got beat down last night during the night sometimes. So we left him here to punish him for he didn't get to come home. We'll catch him on the next trip. Other than that, we're sounding off. I'd like to thank uh, Arm Pit Hand Warmers. Uh, they're free. God gave them to me. I just kind of tucked my hands up underneath my armpits when I got real cold. And Squiggly Toes to my sponsors today.